Do you think you've uh, inherited any of my uh, hang up around not allowing myself good things because I don't deserve it? I tried not to pass it on to you, but you know, these things come out like unconsciously. Yeah, I think I think I did when I was younger. Sometimes I would want to have candy, but then I was like, oh, I shouldn't have candy, you know, like I, I, I should do something first so that I can have the candy, mm -hmm. you know, like I should put away some dishes or whatever. And, you know, I'd always feel like I have to ask if it's okay for me to have a sweet, mm -hmm. you know, I have to make sure that it's okay and that I'm not, <laughs> I'm not being bad for it. Um, and I think I kept that attitude a little bit but then i began to shed it and then i read the ursula k Le Guin book the dispossessed mm -hmm. um, and that really turned my idea of deserving and participating in society and like ethics and morality on its head um, mm -hmm. and then i began to question things a lot more yeah, I think it's it's actually like I I do my best not to manipulate children with rewards, because it tends to replace intrinsic motivation with extrinsic motivation, and and you know cuts them off from a sense of what they actually want. You know, it's it's even in our language. You know, like again, the word desserts, it's something that you deserve to have because you had a good dinner. <laughs> And yeah, like, I think if like, there were definitely times where I'm like, no, we're not having ice cream. You didn't even eat your, you didn't even eat your dinner, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm reminded now of school again. Um, when I was in first and second grade, I had a teacher, I think her name was Marilyn. And I didn't know this really at the time, but she would kind of grade my homework and stuff maybe not too accurately i'd get some questions wrong but she'd mm -hmm. give me an a you know um and boy i had so much fun learning in her class and uh -huh. i had such a great attitude towards learning mm -hmm. um but then i went into third grade and i had a different teacher and then uh i started really caring and stressing about my homework you know mm -hmm. because my grade um i i was looking for the approval of my teacher who would only give it to me in the form of a grade if I had gotten certain questions right, you right. know, whereas before I got approval just because I was such a wonderful, happy little boy. Yeah. <laughs> Even though my grades did not reflect my work, I was so much more motivated to learn. Right. That's, you know, I mean, that's the example. That's a perfect example of replacing intrinsic with extrinsic motivation and making kids hate learning, you know, because the underlying assumption is you don't really want to be doing this. You're only doing this because of a grade, because if you don't get a good grade, your life is going to suck. So and you're not going to get my approval, you know, the approval of these adult authority figures. So you lose yourself then. And and and. I mean, what a ringing indictment of our society that kids hate school. Like they don't want to go to school. They hate learning. And the only thing they like about school is recess. You know, I mean, they still want to go because that's where the other kids are. Mm -hmm. But like to hate learning, I mean, <laughs> that, I mean, that's what kids are supposed to do is learn, you know? Yeah. And, and. So what's going on there? I think part of it is that this conditioning to do things you don't really care about because you're bribed or threatened by approval, which is a ticket to for for I mean a child, the approval of adults is 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 the acceptance that that keeps you safe and keeps you fed. Baby mammals are terrified of parental rejection. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. So this this mammalian instinct is leveraged to control kids, but it cuts them off from themselves. And then they grow up and they are already accustomed to denying that impulse that we were talking about the whole time of doing something meaningful 
that serves society, that serves the world, that contributes to life and beauty because they're, they're so conditioned to doing things for the rewards and avoidance of punishment that's, that is meted out by manipulative authorities. And so a lot of what we're about here, and maybe, maybe one of the um, missions of your generation is to reclaim, reclaim your authentic purpose and desire. Mm 